It is Monday, November 4th, and from WBHM News, I'm Richard Banks with today's top stories. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey is reported to have recovered after receiving emergency medical attention at a campaign event last night. Ivey was treated by paramedics after appearing to become unsteady at a campaign rally for U.S. congressional candidate Caroline Dobson. Dobson is the Republican candidate for the Southern Alabama District 2 race. A spokeswoman for the governor said the 80-year-old Ivy was dehydrated. An ambulance was called and medics treated the governor with fluids at the scene. At last report, Ivy was recovering at home. Portions of Alabama could see record turnout for tomorrow's election and with it potential security issues. Other than limited absentee voting, Alabama does not allow early voting. That puts increased demand on polling stations since the overwhelming majority of voters will have to cast their ballots tomorrow. Local, state, and federal officials say they will be on the lookout for violations. The Birmingham office of the FBI says it will operate an election command post staffed 24 hours a day to provide a centralized location for assessing election-related threats. In addition to election fraud, FBI agents will also watch for voter suppression, foreign influence, and threats to election workers. And the future of the former Brookwood Mall is up for discussion. Andrew Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Center wants to redevelop the old Belk Department Store space at the Homewood property that's been officially closed since 2022. Andrews is a nationally known sports medicine clinic. It wants to use the 135,000 square foot space as an ambulatory surgical center and office building. According to Homewood City documents, the city's planning commission will hear the proposal at its monthly meeting tomorrow night. Also up for discussion is a plan to break up the old Brookwood Mall property into three different parcels, with one being for the Andrews facility. You'll find more news anytime at WBHM.org. You can also hear our local newscast during WBHM's broadcast of NPR's Morning Edition and the afternoon's All Things Considered. That's each weekday on 90.3 WBHM Birmingham.